Hello. Today we will be continuing with the mech arm where we left off from episode 1 and we will try to animate it today doing two very simple animations an idle animation and an attack animation. Very simple, very simple. Now, as you can see on screen, I'm exactly, I've left off, I'm continuing from where we left off last time. I have the scene here on the right, the panel. Remember, I had. Um, made all the images so I cannot interact with them, but I, I can still interact with the bones. So I'm going to go with the select mode into my workspace, select the arm bone and the forearm. And now you can see the properties panel to the left changes depending what we select. We want to create do IK animation, inverse, inverse kinematics. So what we care about is this here now, IK constraints. We're going to create two little controllers one for the wrist and one for the hand and these are the only two elements we're actually going to be animating when we go into animation so since i have the two bones selected i will go and select the first option on the ik constraint here as you can see i'm hovering over and it says create ik constraint at end of bone let's select it and right click anywhere in the scene to deselect everything i'm going to zoom in something has appeared here a very small little target we'll fix that soon let's go back to select mode and select the hand the bone on the hand and this time go to ik constraint and hit the second one called create ik by pick i select that and i pick it anywhere in space you know on the grid and there you go little targets appeared and the bone is trying to hit it right click anywhere to deselect now go select mode from now on, the only thing we care about is controlling these two new controllers we see here. Here they are, IK target 1 and 2. So I'm, what a smart thing to do is now go into the scene and also go next to every bone and also lock them down so you can't select them. So now, now we can only see things, but the only things we can interact with are the two controllers. Now they have very bad names. We don't know which one is which. For example, this one here, okay, let's rename it to IK hand so the other one should be ik arm oh that's nice arm nice so now i can select any one of these move there we go and you can see the other one here is trying to aiming always aiming towards where that is so i have to animate this too in space and this good you go there you go there there we go. Let me set up a nice position. And because they're very small, I'm going to select each one and scale them up, let's say, to five. Yeah. Let's select this one too. Scale them up. Right. And let's hit save. Now we're almost ready. To go into uh, animation let's go now i had previously changed my frame rate but most of you if it's your first time in dragon bones it should be saying here 24 if i'm not mistaken let me change it back now we care about the frame rate because you want to know where your animations are going to be played if it's for games you know you want to know if it's going to be 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second if it's going to be for a film is it 25 24 depending which part of the, of the world you live in and all that stuff because you want to make sure your timing when you want something to bounce or hit exactly at the second at the you know at the one second mark well depending where it's playing what's one second is it 30 frames it's 24 25 make sure you ask where your animation is going to be played set up the number first and then go animating i'm going to pretend i'm a game developer on a little indie game a 2d point click adventure game and the game's going to be running at 30 frames per second so i'm going to animate at 30 frames per second now we've got this we've got the arm ready we've got the controllers ready we've made sure we won't be able to interact with anything else by mistake so we only control with the ik controllers and we've got the frame rate right now ah i can't believe now most of you here have a different name i i was working previously and i forgot to rename them back yours should be saying something like um animation i don't know zero one i mean 
something like that. It says something like that. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I was um, doing. I was practicing before. So we don't want to ruin this first animation state. See, because if we go back to armature, it says library here. Which is the equivalent library, but instead of having images, it has a different animation loops. Think of games. You have a walk cycle, you have a run cycle, you have an idle cycle, you have a jump cycle, you have a attack one, attack two, attack three cycle, kill one, kill two, die, and more and more and more. The first one, let's keep it as default, it's a setup. We don't want to ruin it. So let's right click on it and clone it. And the clone, will name the clone idle. That's the one we're going to work on. We're going to work on idle. So um, fight, you know, um, control S, save, let's save the project. And what we want, since I've got the impression we're going to be working at 30 frames a second, also this is a timeline down here, you can see. And there's a little zoom here but at the bottom, little slider, so you can zoom in and out, see exactly all the, all the keyframes. So I'm going to zoom in so I can see zero all the way to 30, make sure I can see 30. There's 30, that's fine, that's good. So I can see every frame in, you know, in time. So when you're creating loops, cycles, usually the first frame and the last frame are the same. So you have a loop, it doesn't jump when you, the loop finishes. Usually, you know, an idle loop when a character is just standing still and just breathing there. Let's say this arm is breathing, if an arm can breathe, a robot arm. So we want the same position at frame zero to frame 30. We need to keyframe in time these two things, the two controllers. Now, what we care about is only their position in space and in time. So we care about the move down here, where we move them to. Now we can move them where we want to, but when I moved them, you can see, for example, the IK of the arm, I moved it, the little flag here next to it turned yellow. That means that it's trying to tell me you've moved this, but you haven't saved it. Of course, there's an auto save feature in Dragon Bones, which is this thing here. Please have it off, don't have it on. We're not, it's sort of advanced. Now, I didn't save it. So when I scrub the timeline, it jumps back to where it was. Now, I want that to be there. So I hit the flag and it turns orange. Now it's saved it in time. It's there. And I'm going to hit the IK of the hand and also hit the flag again next to it, the little marker. It's like a little golf flag, whatever it is. Now we know at frame zero, they're going to be there. So I'm going to go to frame 30 and I'm going to select the IK of the arm again and hit the flag or and the same thing to the hand. But instead of doing it, I can also go to the frame zero hit the keyframe and either go down here, it says copy or, or press control C or right click on it and said copy frames, scroll all the way to 30 and say paste. And now if I click nowhere on screen, right and deselect, you can see both of them, IK arm, IK hand, they have a keyframe at zero and they both have a keyframe at 30. And if I press play, and because I've got the loop icon here, the repeat on, it's looping, but there's not really any movement. So we can't tell that it's actually got any animation. What we want is somewhere in the middle, a key, at keyframe 15, at, I mean at frame 15, have a little wobble like it's alive. So we're going to add a different position to both of these at frame 15. I select the IK of the, of the arm. I'm going to move it slightly down and inwards and press keyframe. Deselect everything. Let's see. Mm, that looks bad and weird. Let's go to 15 and do that and there it is you've got an arm that's sort of wobbling weird stop that was too much the hand let's move it up and let's see there okay you can see you can go back to the same keyframe redo it it turns yellow it says do you actually want it there yes i do so it's going down like that. Okay, let's say that's the idle of the hand, like it's like we're, you know, it's getting ready. So what we've done, we've given for both of these keyframes at zero and thirty, which is the same. So we get, we have the loop and keyframe at fifteen for the idle, the change. That's pretty good. Now let's go and do the attack animation. Now the attack's going to be a bit different because. It has to also snap, usually um, start at the same position as the idle. So, you know, you have the idle move, 
the, the animation and then when you click attack it sort of starts at a similar position so why not just take the idle clone it rename a duplicate to attack and again because we want it to loop we want the start and the end to be the same so we're just going to delete let's deselect everything and delete the frames on 15 and now we're going to go and create an attack so we're going to have the arm just going up and coming down fast flicking the wrist so usually so what we want is that it slowly goes up at like at frame 15 it's going to go up i want that to go there and that to go there so let's see it goes up let me just move slowly it goes up i want extra frame so it goes up And it then comes down quickly, outstretched here. Give it a keyframe, and the flick of the wrist there. Let's see what it does. It comes out. How does it play? Hmm. We don't like that. It, I want it to go up a little slower, so I'm going to move the frame. I'm going to right click, make sure, move all frames from 15 to 18, move all frames to 22 to 25. So it goes like, Poof. yep, and when it comes down, I want more of a flick of the wrist to the bottom. Let's see. And if you want to actually do a playback and you don't want to have the bones in to annoy you, you can go to this little panel here and just say, don't show me the bones for now. And there you go. You have that little attack. And you can while it's playing, you can go go to the um, animation library here and click on each one. Like so idle and attack. And then back back to idle. And attack. And that's about it. That's how simple it was. Yes, it's a very simple animation. It's nothing special about it. it we just learned how to put keyframes in, what it means when you're let's see if we can add got another we can improve this a little bit quickly so it comes up let's say it comes up there what i want i'm going to copy these frames both put them at 20 paste both so and in between i'm going to have a little jitter so it comes up let's turn these back on goes a bit there it there so it does like a yeah let's see what no I, I need to move both of them you move there you move there let's have a look again up The only position I don't like is here. I'm going to stretch out the arm when it comes down there. And make sure the hand is there. And turn these off. So now we have idle, up, power and flick attack. And then back to idle. Yes. That's good. And if you want to really check it out a little more, it has, Dragon Bones has this little feature here. If, let's see, it's, it's a preview. I don't know if it works. Let me see. It's supposed to like take all the animations, open your browser, whatever, put them in there so I can like, let's change the background to solid colors. And now it's nice and smooth. You can see, you can choose which animation you want. And you can real time also change the speed. I'm gonna double this, um, change the speed, double it. No, but it's sort of it's a little preview, but nice and smooth, like really how it works. Tack, idle, and you can see the basic one, which is nothing there. Idle and attack. Yep, and you can close it down. That's it. So that's episode number two. 
And in the next one, I'm gonna do two little episodes later on, one covering function curves, instead of having this linear animation, how we can do smooth the animations out, and talk a little bit about bone hierarchy. And then on th later on, we're gonna do a bit of exporting. So I hope this helped, hope you like it, and see you in the next episode. Take care, bye-bye.